Hey Bible lovers, I'm Tim Nichols and I'm here to bring you your Nichols words and today we are featuring the Grace and Truth Study Bible edited by Al Mohler in the NIV, which is surprising because uh, the Southern Baptist kind of made a statement against the NIV. It's been kind of a controversial thing, Al Mohler endorsing the NIV after kind of rejecting it and saying it's inaccurate, especially for its gender neutrality. So I was really surprised to see this come out in the NIV, but it is published by Zondervan. And it, this one is the hardcover. Now, there are several cover options for this Bible. You can get cloth overboard, and you can also get the premium, the one that some people are calling the Superman because it's got the blue and the red. It's really beautiful. But anyhow, with Al Mohler, what you're going to get is you're going to get a complementarium, which is basically meaning that men are supposed to take headship and women are supposed to take the role of submission. And it's also going to take on the role of cessationism, where the gifts of the Spirit have stopped with the apostles and with the canon of the scriptures. So anyhow, when you open it up, there are a few things to take note of. Number one is that bronze highlighting. I like it, but I am going to show you where I think it's a problem. But that problem is actually addressed in the premium edition. So you have your center column references. This is a nine point NIV comfort print font, and this is the improved NIV comfort print. So um, you all complained, they listened, they made some fixes. So with the bronze, it's got the bottom footnotes here, and it's also, or, I'm sorry, the corner footnotes and it's got the bottom commentary double column. And sometimes there'll be situations, you'll see this in a lot of layouts where the cross references will be too many for the center, so they'll move them off over here, where they also have your footnotes, because here's the footnotes on this one. But you'll also sometimes, like this example here, see a footnote kind of mixed in with a corner reference because they can't fit them all. The NIV has a lot of notes. So anyhow, Al Mohler did a really good job of editing this and putting this together. Now, he didn't do all the commentary and things like that. He just kind of guided the process. But when you move into the New Testament, here is where I have an issue with this thing. It is a red letter, which I think was a mistake. And the reason I think the red letter was a mistake is because I believe it clashes with that bronze. Um, maybe it's just me, but it just looks kind of abrupt to me. But I do, the, the red letter is a good red letter. So if you like red letter, now if you don't like the red letter, you do have an option, but it's an expensive one. The premium does not have the red letter. It is a full black letter edition. Now, one thing I was really impressed with, with Dr. Moeller and his team, is when it comes to the gifts of the Spirit, and because I'm a Pentecostal, so I believe that the gifts have continued. He kind of laid out the options, and he pointed on, this is where we agree, this is where we, we disagree. So I believe he was very fair on that. Another thing that I really appreciated is he gave both points of view. This is what cessationists believe. This is what continuationists believe. And he didn't present a lot of bias there, even though we know his position. Another thing I was really impressed with was his dealings with the end times. He really gave kind of a really good example of the different positions. And then he laid out his own position to where he doesn't believe in a secret rapture, while some of your other people do. So this is very well done and very balanced. This will be a good Bible to give to a new believer because number one, it is in a very easy to read New Living Translation, but it's also laid out in a way that a new believer can understand. So it also has your uh, concordance, your weights and measures, your maps, and everything else. Now here is one space I believe they blew it on. I do not like dust jackets. I feel like they get in the way. I know a lot of people do. And what I like to see when you take off a dust jacket is I like to see the Bible look exactly the same. And that just, man, I do not like that. So this is going to be one of the ones I'm going to leave the dust jacket on, even though I don't like them because it looks way better than the cover. So I would challenge them to match underneath the same as the dust jacket. And I would also challenge them just to go ahead and get rid of the red letter. But otherwise, this is a really great study Bible. And I enjoyed it way more than I thought I would. So anyhow, there you have it. Keep calm. Jesus on. This is your Nicholas Worth.